Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Alright, so in the last part with the goth family, <laughs> something crazy happened at the end that you guys didn't know about because when it was taking place, <laughs> I had to zoom in on Alexander's face at the end. So if you go back and watch, you'll notice how I kind of zoomed in. Um, I, I didn't want to spoil it for y'all because I, I knew that part was kind of really long and I was like, okay, well, I'll spoil it for him later. But as you can see, Mortimer died, okay? And I knew he was coming to an end soon because, um, he's very old. He only had like a few days left, but I was planning on somehow learning how to resurrect Sims and you know, have Alexander work on that. Well, he died way before I thought he was going to. So, yeah, <laughs> Morty is gone, which I'm really, really sad about. And his grave is out here. I put him right here, I believe. Yeah, here's Mortimer God. So, we may see his ghost um, roaming around. But this is not the end for Mortimer because I really believe that Alexander is going to join the paranormal career once he goes off to college, which will probably be in our season two of Pleasant View, so it might be a hot minute before we see Mortimer again, but I just really feel like Alexander would want to bring his dad back and also just kind of get into the paranormal career and find out the truth about his mother's disappearance. So that is how you resurrect Sims in The Sims 2. Um, you have to um, make sure your Sim knows it is see Sim. You have to um, go into the you know, we have to have the university expansion pack, and you have to go into the paranormal career and um, unlock the Resurrect Onomatron, and then you have to pay the Grim Reaper. So, I want to do that, because I've never done that. I think that'd be something fun to do. So, we're going to have uh, Alexander work on that. But anyways, um, surprisingly, Dina has been taking it very hard, even though she's kind of started an affair in the last part with the Goth family. Um, nothing really took place as far as like they was just kind of like you know we could get away with it her and John Burb but she's surprisingly taken his death very hard and she actually has the want to resurrect him which I found interesting but she did kind of uh take hold of the fact that he's no longer with us because Mortimer was a stifler on his house and his house has been in his family for years and he wanted it to be you know the way it's always been but Dina was like no you know we need to upgrade it you know we need a TV and he's like nope not happening so once he passed away she kind of hopped on that so I did a little bit of a renovation not much um it's just hard to really decorate in The Sims 2 because <laughs> they don't have very pretty objects and it's just it's, it's not easy. Uh, so I just gave them some nice hardwood floors, some new wallpaper, kind of made it more neutral tone. I gave them a TV because it was really hard to keep their fun up and I mean it was really annoying. They always wanted to play the piano and like beg for money in their own house and uh, uh, and it looks like our butler is here making us some omelets which is good because I'm starving. Um, I just updated the hallway as well with some flooring, and I think that's all I did. I think I, yeah, I put the same flooring upstairs too, and yeah, that's about it. So, oh, I also gave us a car. <laughs> um, I learned that I have to move, put the move objects cheat on to put the driveway here. So we now have a car for the Goth family, which is good. Slowly but surely getting all my Sim families in the Sims 2 cars. And I do believe Alexander, yes, he does have school today. He really needs a shower, but he doesn't have time. So we'll do that when he gets back. All right, so I guess we're going to hang out with Dina for a little bit. Um... Roaches don't stand a chance against us. Yeah, sure. Okay. Did, oh, our butler did that. Wow, he's actually doing something. Usually he's like, sorry, good for nothing. I can't ever get him to do anything. But he's taking initiative and he's cleaning up and he's cooking. Um, before I started playing, he actually... Um, <laughs> he actually was like, hey, um, because I, I hired a maid because he wasn't cleaning or doing anything. And before I started recording, he was like, the maid showed up and he was like, hey, I, I'm actually capable of doing that. Do you want me to dismiss them? So I think he kind of feels like threatened that he might lose his job. So he is doing the dang thing, which I'm happy about because, yeah, he was 
Oh, he was about to get fired. He didn't do anything. But I guess we're just going to hang out with Dina today. Um, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't really need one. We have half a million dollars. So she got like a, she's going to get a pension from him, of course. Uh, Mortimer, since he's passed away. Uh, let's go ahead and put these away so whenever we get hungry, we'll have some food. Oh, I guess we can just throw it on the floor and let him clean it up, too. That's fine. Um, and then I want to go upstairs and take a shower. I'm expecting Spencer to grow up into a toddler into this part just because he was kind of born around the same time all of our other babies were. Um, and they've all aged up shortly. Or shortly they've all aged up previously in the previous parts so we'll be able to see what little Spencer looks like soon which I'm really excited about um, I really want Dina to have a little girl obviously it won't be a goth baby I can definitely see her maybe getting pregnant having an uh, affair with you know John Burr if that goes like I plan and maybe having a secret love child because you know he is married so of course they wouldn't want anybody to find out and I really don't think that they would remarry or anything I can honestly see Dina just being a single woman for the rest of her life just completely not want to like share her money with anybody and just like ruling the goth manor um unfortunately poor alexander uh, but you know what alexander is just kind of over it he just wants to go to school and he really wants to resurrect his dad and then maybe in the future mortimer will put a stop to dina but i can see her just completely controlling and ruling this town um because she does have that goth name now she is the woman in charge and mortimer is no longer with us unfortunately so she has that opportunity and before he passed away he left her these flowers out here while she was in the middle of an affair or starting her little affair which is really really sad but I think I'm gonna put these flowers out here I know that she got them for him or he got them for her but we're just gonna pretend that they put some flowers out by his grave Poor Mortimer. I, I was, <laughs> y'all, was just really not expecting him to pass away so soon. It was such a shock. I was like, oh, I started to freak out, but I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want them to know what's going on, so I, I got y'all. Uh, <laughs> y'all almost knew, but I did not want to end the part with Mortimer passing. I wanted to start a new part and kind of spoil it for y'all. Hold youngster. Okay, so I thought she was about to age him up, but apparently not. It looks like he's hungry. But yeah, we do have like a spare bedroom, so like I said, I can definitely see her having another child, hopefully a little girl. But I am glad that Spencer was a boy because I did want him to have that goth name. We need to answer the phone after after you feed the baby, Diener. Diener. I just called her Diener. <laughs> ah, okay, just put him on the ground. Yeah, just put him on the floor. No, he's at school. Why aren't you at school? Jesus. Okay, hold the baby. Pick him back up. She's a terrible mother, honestly. Feed bottle to Spencer. I was kind of going to give her a chance and say, you know what? Maybe she would be a good mom. But no, she has no idea. You know, we thought that Nina, you know, and Don had some growing up to do. This one right here is just, come she's selfish. She's selfish. So, yeah, I think Alexander is definitely going to be taking Spencer under his wing. You know, he's not going to resent him because um, it's his half-brother. It's still a part of his dad, and that means a lot to Alexander. So, let's cuddle him. It looks like he's getting a little bit fussy. Uh, we probably need to hire a nanny because I don't see her taking care of her kid at all, like I said. Um, she's got a helper around the house. She's got a butler. She's got a maid. She's probably going to hire a nanny, especially when he ages up into a toddler. And I just, like I said, see her shopping all the time, going on vacations all the time, and just being a very neglectful mother, which is, like, really sad. I shouldn't want that for my Sims, but it is what it is. All right, so it looks like Alexander is home from school, and his grades are slipping, which... It's probably just from the stress of this new stepmom, and then, of course, his dad passing away, which is not good. He's at a C plus. That's not good at all. We are definitely going to have to start working on his homework. But he also brought a friend home from school today. So, um, I guess we can, like, talk to him a little bit because Alexander really doesn't have many friends. Well, yeah, okay, he does. He is friends with Hun Thompson. He's kind of close to Yvette, and then, of course, this Juan dude here. Um, I kind of explored him being in a relationship with somebody. I was like, maybe 
maybe him and Yvette, but, you know, he's not attracted to Yvette. And I was like, well, you know, some people were like, well, I think Alexander's gay. And so I was like, well, maybe. So I tried to see if, you know, him and Hun had any attraction. No attraction. So he might just be, like, not interested in anybody. Um, but I don't want him to be alone for the rest of his life. So, I mean, honestly, can we just um, check him out? Is that appropriate? I just, I want to see if he has an attraction to anybody. Uh, what is it called when you're just kind of not attracted to anybody? in general is that called like asexual i'm not really sure i'm very ignorant on all that stuff so don't judge me i'm sorry um but yeah i do want to like take his homework real quick um by the looks of it he looks like he's not attracted <laughs> he's like Ugh. um but yeah but his all of his homework is stacked up up here and we're just gonna all stack it up there we've really got to get on our homework we may have to tell our friend bye because i just don't see alexander being the one to slip in school and we're just gonna keep oh slipping oh no he's just maybe he's just not attracted to anybody what are his turn ons and turn offs does he have a turn on and turn off or is he turn on he likes makeup good at cleaning and stink this is oh that's his turn off okay <laughs> Whew. all right so you know what that's cool i think we need to have him come up here and use the restroom and take a shower because he's kind of stinky and then we really need to work on his fun a little bit have him watch some tv and then work on his homework but he does want to go to college so we're definitely going to have to work on his grades and like i said i see him definitely studying paranormal uh, the paranormal branch and being in that career so I need to do my little research on what kind of scholarships we can get because I know you have to have certain skills in order to get scholarships so I'm gonna have to do my research I always forget to feed the fish okay Juan's gonna come over here and wake Dina up which you know what Dina I know sorry but you got you a good little nap in so you know what I think we need to call over I think we need to call out or call over um, John <laughs> um, oh it is kind of like what are we gonna do we could call him and invite him out but I feel like going out in public is very very risky because he's married and people know that he's very well known in Pleasant View so I don't think that's a good option but also, I don't, obviously, she can't go to his house, but I don't really know if it's a good idea to bring him over because of Alexander, and it's just really soon after his dad's death, he might kind of snap on her, but we're just going to treat it as a friendship, and he's just coming to offer his, um, he doesn't own a phone. How am I going to, okay, you know what? He needs a phone. He lives in our neighborhood, so you know what I'm going to do real quick? Real quick, we're just going to, um, how do I do this? Neighborhood, yes, we're going to save our changes. And then I'm going to go into his household, and we're going to give him a phone. And then for those of you who aren't familiar with John Burb, uh, I guess I can introduce you to him and his wife and his child. They were in the family bin because his wife is Jennifer Burb, which is the sister of Daniel Pleasant. So, I was planning on, well, actually, I take that back. I was not planning on playing with them at all. <laughs> um, I just wanted them in the world, so I guess I didn't give them a phone. So, let's go and meet the Burb family real quick because of this affair going on. I guess it's, it's good that we are knowledgeable about who, who are here, who, who are here, who we are working with here. Um, oh my gosh, I feel like a terrible person for just wrecking this home. This beautiful little family, and I'm over here buying him a phone so he can call Dina. They don't even have the money to buy a phone. Okay, you know what? Let's, is it ka -ching? What's the cheat? Yep, okay. Alright, so let's give him this phone here. And, yeah, okay. So, real quick, I'm just going to introduce you to John Burp. So, this is John Burp. <laughs> this is who we are going to try to have an affair with. Um, I think they're definitely attracted to each other. See, he wants to uh, play with her. He actually wants to have a baby. I'm not really sure if he wants to have a with his wife. But, you know, like I said, I can definitely see him knocking Dina up on accident. 
Um, but his fear is a fall out of love with Jennifer. And so I really do believe everything in me that he, he loves his wife. He really does. But it's just kind of like a situation where he kind of gets caught up in with Dina, which is she's very manipulative. Um, so kind of can't blame him. But he's unemployed for some reason. I think they're obviously both going to be unemployed. But do they have a bio? Let me see. Yes, okay, so it says John Burb fondly remembers the hours he used to spend weeding and watering his parents' garden. He hopes to continue the tradition. Okay, so apparently he likes to garden. Okay, and Jennifer Burb, her bio says, Jennifer used to dream of being a soccer superstar, but now she's quite happy to focus on being fashionable and stylish instead. Interesting. So this is Daniel Pleasant's sister, which I agree, they don't look anything alike. He's got red hair and she's got curly black hair. Um, some I think one of the, one of the oldies might have had an affair. <laughs> something something happened uh, because whew, that they just don't even look right. They, mm, there's no resemblance whatsoever, unless unless she dyes her hair. I don't know, maybe. But this is John's little girl, Lucy Burb. Um, what does her bio say? Little Lucy has a knack of getting into trouble, but she's so cute and friendly that most people never notice. Oh, she is cute. I'm sorry your daddy's about to be a man whore thanks to me. Sorry. All right, so anyways, I gave him a phone. So let's hop back into uh, the goth family and call him over. Alright, so apparently this affair that I'm trying to push very hard um, is not coming along in my favor. Um, we gave him a phone, went through all that trouble, call him to invite him over, and he replies with, My psychic advisor has forbidden me from leaving the house today. I'm afraid I must comply. Well, you know what, John? You are a, a very inappropriate word. I guess he's probably just kind of getting cold feet about this affair and kind of sitting there with his wife and his child and thinking, you know what, maybe I don't want to lose them. He's kind of like, eh, chicken and out, I guess you would say. Uh, no, 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 I just put that back. Do not go down there and do that. Come down here and watch, oh my gosh, turn off. No, come watch TV with your friend. How come he can't watch TV? Let's have him come sit down and um, get his fun up so we can work on... So we can work on his homework. Um, okay, well, I don't know what to do now. I think we need to hire a gardener. We just really need to hire a lot of help around here. So let's call services. Hey, I was just looking through my phone book and thought I should get in touch with Alexander. It's been a while. Okay, yeah, we definitely, Alexander, also need to keep in contact with our friend Hun because he is one of our good friends and I want him to have friends and not just not get so caught up in his dad's death and the disappearance of his mom that he just he doesn't have friends but he doesn't seem to be having a problem with that so let's hire a gardener to come and rake and do our weeding and flowering and all of that sorts of stuff yes i mean she's just blowing through money like it ain't nothing but she's got plenty of it so it's fine it's, it is what it is <sighs> i mean I, I don't know what to do now Okay, hold up. We got somebody out here. I mean, I guess, I guess we can have multiple boyfriends. You know, that's just Dina. He's, he's kind of cute. Let's come out here and greet Phil. Jim, hmm, whatever his name is. Okay, no, you're not, do not go and tip him. Seriously. I mean, you have money, but let's just not throw it around to random kids in, in the house showing off their skills begging for money i mean that's typical people come to the goth family play on their piano and try to get their money for tips yeah okay I, I would do the same okay phil okay let's come over here and check him out see if there's any kind of attraction no oh dead gum all right well you know what this is awful but we're just gonna ask him to leave we're not attracted to him uh, that is that sounds terrible but i just she's not gonna be with somebody she's not attracted to and i definitely see her getting very lonely in the future and just kind of like wanting somebody um she kind of has that attraction to the butler but mm, it's kind of hard um i also see her and don they're still bffs i mean mm, possibly but i'm kind of holding out on don being loyal to nina now so we'll see <sighs> abajit Oh, no, that's John. Oh, we also have Bruce Langerick. Remember, remember him? 
That was the bartender from the last part. Oh, we also have Eamon. Okay, well, we can call them over and just kind of like see if they want to hang. Where's the baby? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened, baby? Spencer probably came up here. Not Spencer. Alexander and was heard Spencer cry. And was like, why Why is he on the floor, Dina? And she's like, I don't know. It's probably the butler. Because, you know, I wasn't paying any attention to him. Wow. Yeah, that's your stepmom. It sucks to suck, huh? All right. Let's come up here and have him work on a little bit of his homework. Looks like he's starting to break out. Okay, so Spencer's birthday is only a day away. It seems like yesterday the little bundle of joy came into this world. Oh, how quickly they grow up. Okay, so he probably will not age up in this part because this part is starting to drag out a little bit. And, um... I don't want it to be too long, so we he might be the youngest of all of our little babies, but that's okay. He'll age up in the next part, so we're just going to hold him, cuddle him for a little bit, and put him back in his crib. All right, so I tried again to get John to come over because I really wanted to be John over everybody else, just because it's John verb, okay? And I just really feel like he's... He's very indecisive about it. He's kind of like playing games with Dina, just kind of leading her on. So they're ha having a conversation, um, and, you know, she's like, well, you know what? It's fine. It's whatever. You know, she, we'll play hard to get Dina. Maybe, that, maybe that'll change. And then maybe we can come over here. <laughs> oh, he's turned it in for the evening. Oh, well, don't, don't leave. Let's get off the phone with him. Let's go over here and try to chat him up before he leaves. <laughs> He's like, uh, get the hell out of here, run, he already knows, mama's on the prowl, okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, honey, she's like, yeah, okay, poor Dina, she just, she just wants a man in her life, you know, hers just passed away, unfortunately, oh my god, okay, wait, who is this, who is this, okay, that's Simon Cripplebottom, why did he go into Mortimer's grave? Oh, I don't know what's going on, but it's really creepy. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here since it is nighttime. It looks like everybody's asleep. Did you finish any of that homework? A mm, little bit. Okay. Look, honey, you're never going to catch up if you don't come down here and work on your own. I, I know, I know. He's struggling. I know, buddy. Go watch TV. Anyways, y'all, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um, and yeah, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all sad that Mortimer died? I am. I really am. Do you think that there is a possibility of that affair with John? I really think it is. I just think he's kind of, it's going to take a little bit of more of a pull, a little bit more seducing. Uh, Dina's just manipulative and she can, you know, have an affair with anybody, multiple. It's just, uh, like I said, I see her just being that girl, that woman after her husband's death. She got in, got the family money, she's got the house, she's got, she's got her own goth baby for Christ's sake. So, I mean, she's going to be living the life. She's going to be bougie, she's going to be spending money, going on vacations with all of her little men, taking them on vacations, uh, maybe having some love children. I don't know, we'll see, but I think that this is going to be very scandalous and very fun even though I'm really sad that Mortimer had to pass away in order for it to get this scandalous and fun but I hope you guys are having a great day hope you guys like this part if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up all of your comment suggestions leave those down below in the comments and yeah subscribe if you have not and with that being said I will talk to y'all later bye